Warning, safety. So recently I got a cold head helium compressor and hoses off eBay for cheap. It was previously set up as a cryo pump. These use an ultra high vacuum system to trap gas molecules and achieve lower ultimate pressures. I just want to liquefy stuff, so I removed the inlet baffle and array. They were attached with metal gaskets that looked to be made of indium. The array seems to be coated in charcoal. Now it's just the cryo cooler's cold finger. I wanted to test it out right away. After some minor repairs to the compressor, I hooked the helium lines up. The connectors have valves on each side, so there is no leakage while changing them. There was even pressurized helium already in the lines, but I still had to add more. The compressor also needs a flow of chilled water to keep from overheating. I used my homemade water chiller. This was only designed for diffusion pumps, so I found some hydronic heater pipes and sweated them together to make a radiator. Then I made a 1.3 CF to KF16 adapter and hooked the chamber up to a vacuum pump. I also put a CF flange needle valve on. The third had an analog gauge I just left there to see if it worked. I attached a temp sensor to the cold finger. Then I drilled some holes in a 12 by 12 piece of aluminum and added bolts for a nice base plate. The chamber simply rests on top and seals the o-ring at vacuum pressures. I let the water chiller chill down and switch the vacuum pump on. After a long pump down, I hit the crowd cooler compressor switch and turned it all on. I let it run for an hour or so. After bringing the chamber up to pressure and lifting it off, some promising liquid spilled out and boiled away on my table. The temperature was negative 158 by the time I could get a reading. Condensed water vapor was flowing off and looking pretty cool. Time for some enhancements. I needed more surface area. So I made a bowl and weird thing out of normal flat copper. Then got N and K type thermocouples. The N type came in a metal tube, so I cut it up and exposed the conductors. I soldered it to a copper thing, then added a K type to the side. I also put a K type thermocouple on the upper structure. I got some more high vacuum parts, including a 20-pin electrical feed-through. I only hooked up 10 wires, then wrapped them with low outgassing heat shrink. I put the copper things in and ran all the wires, then bent and TIG welded some stainless steel to keep it sturdy. I added a flare and analog vacuum gauge to the final CF flange. I put the base plate on the compressor so the whole thing can be sort of compact and mobile. This small actile vacuum pump fit just fine and still has decent performance. Then hooked up a K-type thermocouple reader. I can do some rough math to figure out the N-type's temp. So I fired it all up for a first trial. It pumps down reasonably quick, but the pressure is higher than I would like. The water chiller did warm up, but then leveled off around 22 degrees C, while the temperature inside fell consistently and reached some cryogenic levels. I ran it for a few hours, checking the sensors every few minutes. I shut everything down and lifted off the chamber. A nice amount of liquid had accumulated. But because it's just normal atmospheric air, it's far from pure. Mostly liquid nitrogen and oxygen, this stuff is fun to play with, but its composition is simply too random for any real uses. But the needle valve allows me to create an atmosphere of any gas inside the chamber. I made some liquid argon, which is neat, but you can make it with liquid nitrogen anyway. I plan to liquefy more stuff. As of now, the cryo cooler cannot reach temperatures low enough to liquefy gases like hydrogen or neon. Liquid helium would also be pretty sweet. I'm not sure how cold it really gets in there because my temp sensors are warmed up by the copper wires coming through. I'm still trying to find some other gases to liquefy, maybe some with more interesting properties. Thanks for watching! Subscribe if you want.